here is another flat uh, wing uh, flat wing bait fish and as you can see this is more done in blue as you can see the uh, the lateral scales in the wing really really makes an effort and uh, this is only at the lowest setting uh, of, of current so uh, so this fly really really does uh, does look amazing uh, in the water and uh, when you add to this effect that the flyman head here will make your fly bounce and dance up and down like a kind of like a yeah, a little fish that's evading. Uh, this pattern really, really is going to be good. Also, you have the weight in front, uh, which will make this fly fish a bit more deep. So, so you can you can get your fly down, especially for mackerels and stuff like that. Other bait fish. This will be uh, this will be a killer. Well, thank you. Hi there. Today I'm going to make a small bait fish. Um, this is going to be a flat wing fly. Uh, flat wing flies are very very nice because uh, because of these uh, these saddle feathers they move tremendously cool and uh, lifelike in the water and it's something that uh, that predatory fish really really goes for. So first of all I'm going to tie down uh, three of these saddle feathers or well I'm gonna use one saddle feather to make three wings because uh, it would be a terrible waste because these feathers are of course pretty expensive to just uh, just use the tip and throw the rest away also uh, this is a fly where we're gonna use some of these uh, one not more <laughs> that would look odd but uh, one of these uh, flyman fish skulls uh, a very nice uh, nice feature a very nice uh, way of, of of ending your your bait fish patterns because it adds the right correct weight to to the fly uh, so your fly your fly bounces uh, correctly and uh, and dips uh, dips like a real uh, fleeing fish in the water so see first of all i just attached uh, uh, one uh, feather here or one part of the feather here and uh, this was the tip what i did now was uh, i just used the rest of the feather and i just well cut down uh, uh, on both sides of this feather to make this feather also um, also uh, also uh, to make the tip here also uh, also pointy so the feather looks uh, so, so, so it looks it looks better and it moves better in the water cutting off this um, and then I'm gonna attach this also right here I'm gonna use uh, uh, these feathers in an approximately one and a half time the length of the, of the hook. I don't want it to be too long, uh, because if it's too long, um, uh, uh, it would be more efficient to have uh, to add a stinger hook, and I hate stinger hooks. Uh, and and this is this is this is a good size anyway, so no need to do that. This the hook I'm using is uh, it's a Gamakatsu if uh, three hundred and fourteen. A nice hook for for bait fish patterns, uh, because it it has a very wide, it has a very, uh, it has a very wide hook gape, which makes uh, makes um, makes uh, uh, this hook uh, very efficient in uh, in hooking fish. Apply some thread here because you really you really don't want uh, these feathers to uh, to to uh, to be to be torn off because that's kind of the whole idea with the, with this fly. So one, two, three saddle feathers um, and now I'm gonna do the other color I, I want to use for, for this pattern. And the other color I'm gonna use for this pattern here is, uh, is, a, is a kingfisher blue. It's a nice color um, and it can imitate a lot of different f uh, species of fish out, fish out there. Uh, it looks well uh, in the water and, uh, and it, it fishes well. I had some uh, some luck with uh, with this pattern for a mackerel, um, uh, not for sea trout yet uh, in this particular color, but uh, but this pattern I've caught uh, I've caught sea trout on, uh, but but I I can't see why this color wouldn't work for uh, for sea trout, and uh, and definitely definitely it will work for uh, for uh, for bass. So did that again, you know, cutting it into uh, into a pointy tip. Um, but I'm only gonna use I'm only gonna use two uh, two feathers in uh, in blue like so 
and if they stick a bit out to the side and stuff like that uh, that's actually just an advantage because uh, when you pull this uh, when I when I fish flies like this I use the double handed retrieve to uh, to be sure that uh, to be sure that uh, that the fly fishes at at, at a great speed uh, which is uh, what uh, the predatory fish expects of of a fleeing bait fish and as you can see this is the feather here and I've actually I've actually feather uh, for just this feather alone I ca I could easily make uh, two more wings if I wanted to. What I've done is uh, is uh, in the shop I have made um, some packages from uh, from uh, from uh, from whole saddles. I've simply stripped off all the usable feathers and just bundled them up into into packs. So you can you can now buy um, without being ruined. You, you you can actually buy a small pack of uh, of. Uh, of saddle feathers to make your flat wing flies or even your pike flies. I've divided them into two categories. Uh, the pike flies, the loose pike flies saddle feathers. So as I was saying, I've actually made uh, taken a few of these uh, flat wing saddles and uh, and I've split them up and just taken out all the feathers that were usable and uh, and just packed them into packs. Uh, where you get a lot of feathers to tie uh, numerous flies for for a cheaper price because it is a bit expensive to to go out and and spend maybe something like 80 80 euros uh, on a, on a, on a, on a flat wing saddle um, so you can now get these feathers at a at a at a very very good price um, uh, so you can get a lot of different colors uh, with without too much trouble okay so I've tied down the, all the feathers. Um, five for this this particular pattern. As you can see, there they here they are hanging here. All five of them, nice and beautiful. And it doesn't matter if they stick a bit out to the side. That's okay because that's just going to add movement uh, and uh, and look better in the water, like so. I'm going to take a small bundle of uh, of uh, white uh, white bucktail. Add that here. Just make it so it's, it fits around the hook, like so. If you want, it could be a good idea to to give this uh, uh, before you tie this bucktail down. You could you could apply a, a bit uh, a bit of uh, super glue to make sure that your, your hackles are staying there because your hackles is well basically they are the fly. So uh, so it would be nice to to ensure that they are there there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take uh, two strands of, uh, of uh, well, at least I'm gonna take one one strand of uh, of uh, lateral scales um, in pearl. Just gonna add those on top here, just to give a bit of flash to uh, to the wing here, like so. Uh, not not too much unless you're fishing in very murky water because uh, these lateral scales they bring a lot of noise a lot of <laughs> a lot of flesh to to the fly like so and then I'm gonna take some some fleshy blue dubbing here uh, to uh, to to dub uh, body not a thick body just uh, just so it covers kind of covers the hook here like so It gives a nice, uh, nice effect to the fly. It has this, uh, this trans uh, kind of transparent, uh, kind of flesh-looking, uh, looking dubbing body here. It's not something you need to be really, really cautious about how you do and stuff like that. Just uh, spray some dubbing on there, uh, and it's okay if, if some of these sticks out a bit and. It looks a bit messy and stuff like that. It will all add uh, to, the, to the flavor of the fly. The flesh abu dubbing is uh, is very nice. Uh, there's a lot in the packages for 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 a very nice price, and uh, the quality is good and consistent. And uh, well, the colors are great. Also, I like that material a lot. Actually, I've I've changed to that material from uh, from a lot of uh, from a lot of other different uh, flesh dubbing types, like that. Now only all that is left to tie down is two different uh, pieces of uh, of material: uh, bucktail in white, bucktail in uh, in kingfisher blue.
bundle of bucktail. That down like that. Make sure you have a bit of room towards the eye here. So when you uh, when you apply your fish skull like so, it uh, it will fit on there. Uh, it definitely will. Like that again. Not too much material, so uh, so you will you will spoil the ruin the effect of uh, of transparency as. Uh, as many of uh, most of uh, of the bait fish in uh, swimming in the waters have uh, to be to be more elusive and, and more difficult to see from uh, from being from from uh, underneath to to predatory fish so taking a bundle of kingfisher blue bucktail it's going to be slightly less than uh, than the white one here like this and this of course is going to be mainly tied down on top to be uh, kind of like the overwing of this, like that. So very careful. Applying some thread, some force, a whip finish. Some super glue. And you can use a bit of that. And when you see these uh, these fish skulls, they have um, kind of like a keel. So one part of the fish skull is actually heavier, and and that part is is the one you want to have pointing downward, so so your fly will will go correctly in the water. Forcing that on top there, and we'll basically there you have it. See, so shine my light here from different angles, so you can you can see how it looks, and you can see it's nice and transparent. And uh, the last thing you want to do is, of course, you want to add an eye. And there is a groove on top here, so you just add some super glue. And for this, I recommend I've I've actually changed my brand of super glue. I used to use Loctite, but that's simply uh, uh, the 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 package is very poorly done, so it half the glue is always stuck in the in the tube and uh, you never get the full amount out of it and stuff like that so so I would uh, I've switched to uh, to something called Sabagap um a nice super glue that has uh, has a bottle with uh, with a small the uh, with a small brush in it so you can actually brush it on brush it on there but as you see here it is small bait fish uh, and the head provides a lot of action and, and makes the fly jig very 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 nicely just gonna zoom out so you can see the full fly here 